What's up internet, Attack Slug here, and today I just wanted to make a video addressing all of these smartasses on the internet who want to make fun of my CRT back there. And I'm going to explain to you why, as someone who cares about playing video games in their original format, it is important to keep around a CRT in your house. So this is my monstrous CRT television. CRT stands for Cathode Ray Tube. It is a 27-inch manufactured by Philips and made in 2001. And just to note, yes, I have a Sony 24-inch 3D TV sitting right next to it. This is my primary PS4, Xbox One, etc., etc. TV. But the reason you keep a CRT around is if you care about older systems. And today, specifically, we're going to take a look at the Super Nintendo, made in 1991. I was 11. Now the fact that this has composite, component, and S video is important because different systems look better on different hookups. You would want the N64 on S video. You'd want the original Xbox and the GameCube on component. So here we are, my fully functioning Super Nintendo and a copy of Super Mario All-Stars. It is a cathode ray tube. It has a curved glass screen. And we're going to explain the important parts of why you would want a CRT primarily one of the most important parts is a little thing called input lag. And input lag, to break it down as simply as possible, is this. When you hit a button, you get an instant, instant response. Now on HD TVs, it might not be instant due to a variety of factors with how LCD, plasma, etc, etc functions. But on a CRT, you will always get an instant response. The other advantage that CRTs are going to have as compared to LCDs is what is referred to as contrast or black level. That is between the darkest it can get and the lightest it can get. And LCDs will be a variety, variety of different uh, things and there isn't really a standard. Whereas on a CRT, it is what is referred to as infinite contrast. One of the other advantages when it comes to playing games this old is that you want an accurate representation of your resolution. And on CRTs, you can adjust for things like overscan. If you wanted the most accurate 4-3 picture, you're going to want a CRT. Now, unfortunately, this is not one of the best CRTs on the market because it has what is a curved glass screen. If you wanted one of the greatest CRTs on the market, that was the Sony Trinitron, and those had a flat glass screen and were super expensive. I suppose I should also note that in addition to this CRT and this 3D TV, I also have these two monitors, it's a 24 inch and a 19 inch, you can see here I'm encoding today's episode of Ebenezer's Journey, and I got a video uploading over here, so I have no shortage of LCD monitors to play video games on, but the CRT is important for things like the Super Nintendo, original Xbox, N64, GameCube, PS1, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, and the Atari 2600, which yes, is still functional. So in conclusion, if you have retro game systems and you want them to look as they were originally intended to look and play, you're going to want to have a CRT in your collection. And this video is specifically for anyone in the future who wants to leave a comment saying, ha ha, you have a TV from the 90s, get into the 21st century. I've got plenty of those as well. So maybe you should leave being a smartass on the internet to the pros. And I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.